we've talked about young people uh, a little bit at the beginning of our conversation. Is there advice that you could give to a young person today thinking about their career, thinking about their life, thinking about uh, making their way in this world? Yeah, sure. I, I'll share some advice. It actually picks up on a, a question we talked about earlier with in, in the academy and schools. But it's, an, it's some advice that a professor gave to me when I got to Harvard. And it is this, that uh, you have to be willing to come face to face with your intellectual limitations and keep going. <laughs> and that's it. And it's hard for people. I mean, you mentioned this earlier to to face really difficult tasks to uh and particularly in these sort of elite spaces where you've excelled all your life and you come to MIT and you're like wait a minute I don't understand this. Yeah. Wait, this is hard. I've yeah. never had re something really hard yeah. before. And there there're a couple options and a lot of people will pull back and take the uh gentleman or gentlewoman's B and and just go on or risk going out there giving it your all and still not quite getting it and that that that's a risk but it's a risk well worth it uh because you're just going to be the better person the better student for it and you know and even outside of the academy i mean come come face to face with your uh fears yeah. and keep going and keep going in 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 life and you're going to be the better person the better uh human being yeah, it does seem to be, I don't know what it is, but it does seem to be that fear is a good indicator of something you should probably face. <laughs> yes. Like fear kind of shows the way a little bit. Uh, not always. <laughs> you might not want to go into the cage with a lion, but <laughs> uh, but it's, uh, maybe you should. <laughs> maybe.